This is SAT practice test six, non-calculated question number 18. We have a diagram showing triangles, and we're told that side BD is parallel to AE, and they ask for the length of CE. Since these sides are parallel, and this is a right angle, this will also be a right angle. Since they're parallel, this angle here equals this angle here, and this angle is common between the two triangles, so we have similar triangles. Since they're similar triangles, the short legs are proportionate, and in the large triangle, the short, short leg is three times the short leg of the small triangle. And they're asking for CE, which is the hypotenuse, since these are right triangles. The small triangle here is six and eight. The third side will be 10, because that's twice a three, four, five triangle. If you're not sure, they give you the Pythagorean theorem at the start of the section, we know that 6 squared plus 8 squared equals the hypotenuse squared, which I'm going to call CD squared. So that's 36 plus 64 equals CD squared. CD squared equals 100. So CD equals 10, as I found from recognizing the 3, 4, 5 triangle doubled. Since the hypotenuse of the large triangle is, is in ratio of three to, 3 to 1 to the small triangle, the hypotenuse CE will have length 30. Let's check that I answered their question. They're asking for the length of CE, which is the hypotenuse, so that would be the correct answer. College Board will almost always ask you triangles, including very often similar triangles, so make sure that you're comfortable with similar triangles. And come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.